Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create mind maps with the new feature in Notebook LM. Okay, so mind maps have been known to increase your visual attraction or understanding during presentations or even report writing. You can use them to kind of visualize your content, your data, your report for ease of understanding your concept and ideas. So this new feature is applicable you can mind map your youtube videos you can mind map your articles maybe from journal paper to conference paper to report writing or you can pick in a website and create a mind map out of it from the content it has and in some cases you can have multiple sources like you can have more than three to five to ten journal articles or reports and then even in combination with videos, in combination with websites, and you will be able to create mind maps out of all of this. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at the basics on how to use some of these. So to start with, let me start by learning how to access Notebook LM. So of course, you can come to your search bar and just search for Notebook LM. And you can see it over here, the first option, note taking and research assistant. You can just click on it. Alternatively, you come to notebooklm.google because it is part powered by Google. So you can come over and say try Notebook LM and then you brought in over here. These are histories of what we have been using Notebook LM to create. But then you can still go ahead and say create a new notebook. And from here, this is what is going to pop up. Of course, you can upload your sources from your computer directly by clicking on this. Or you have the option to upload your sources from Google Drive, which you can do from Docs or Slides. Or you can have links. You can have links uploaded from websites or from YouTube. So different sources. Or if you have a text, you can just go ahead and paste in. And this is going to help you to create a mind map. So let's start from the beginning. Let's say we have this, the future of employment with the advent of AI. So we just select like this copy and then we can come over here and paste in our text and let's say insert now once you insert it it's going to read the text and it's going to give you a quick summary of what you have ai reshaping the future of employment this is a big summary of what you have now the key thing is mind map so you can see it's a new feature so once you click on this mind map it is going to create a mind map of what you've just uploaded as a source to this and you can see right now within a few seconds it has generated that so you can click to have a preview of the mind map that it has created from this the future of employment with ai now these are the key details of what is covered in the article or in the text and you can see the key areas affected be able to see all of them over here right so you can see you can expand and have it you can expand this and have a look at everything you can even zoom in and out with this feature you'll be able to see exactly what you are doing what you are increasing what you are decreasing you can click to see the components of the various sections you can be able to see the details and what and what is and it entails and you can collapse back that's the beauty about this you can always look forward and then you can collapse a section back and then you can be able to see everything at the same time now if you get to what you want for example i want this at this point you can just come over here and click on download and you will see that my mind map is ready and we can apply it or use it on any presentation or any report writing you can just have it and use it directly okay so it's very easy to download and use it and you can see we can come to the conclusion what do they want us to know these are the things that they want us to know so you can be able to just try to visualize your concept, your idea. So this is the first option, create a mind map from a text, okay? So let's say we go back and then let's try something new. Let's say create a new notebook and then you can say, let's say we use from a website, okay? So I have this website that talks about the... 10 tips for improving your public speaking. So let's say we copy this link. So there are 10 tips over here on how to improve your public speaking. You can see them listed. And I want to create my mind map out of this listing. So you can come back to Notebook LM. And then let's say a website this time around. And I can now paste it. And let's go ahead and say insert. Now it is taking this as a note. And you can see Harvard DC public speaking tips. Now this is just one source. And you can come to mind map and just click. And within some seconds, it is just going to create the mind map out of this. This is really next level. It makes report writing, you can see, fantastically. These are the tips. And then don't read, use online. These are key things that you can actually use. You can see them. You can click. 
and it will open up you can click and it will open up you can be able to see more of the content into what you want you can click and you can centralize things and once you have it to the section you want as well you can come over here click on download and you have your mind map downloaded to your system so this is the second option let's try something different Let's come back to notebook let's create a new notebook assuming i have a youtube video let's say i have this youtube video that talks about python full course for beginners i can just copy this this is a full course i can come back to notebook lm and again we can just click on youtube and then i can just paste in the link and then you can see insert now this is going to read the video and then give us a summary and then we can just go ahead and generate the mind maps very easily you can see python basics fundamentals for beginners so you can just click mind map and then this is going to just go ahead and give you the mind map directly and you can see within a matter of seconds python programming essentials has created the mind map that we need let's have a preview of what it has created all right and you'll be able to see the mind map created beginners to advanced project you can see getting started basic concept project and advanced concept you can click on these to be able to see the other features okay also here so that you can see the main features and when you have it to the dimension or the size or the details that you need you can of course as well come down here you can zoom out and then you can of course come here and just click to download and you have your mind map ready to download okay or you can use it for your presentation or the about so you can always use different sources even a combination of more than one source so let's try let me show you this one like you can see this is a case of uh, multiple sources we have different journal articles and even a youtube video and a book that i've added over here about flooding in nigeria the causes solutions and way forward and so with this one now let's try to create a simple mind map out of it by just clicking on this and then this is going to create a mind map for us that we can try to visualize based on these sources that we've just highlighted over here so let's just give you some seconds to finish harnessing combining and generating the mind map which it has just done so we can click to have a preview this is flood management and these are the various sources and um, various areas that it has covered hazard conversion you can click and you can be able to see what it is generating you can click to have more and you can see more details as you get what you are looking for depending on what exactly you want that you want to create so these mind maps can be exceptionally useful and very brilliantly applicable to concept and ideas and report writing even journal paper if you're writing anything you can consult them so your audience can have a clear picture and direct concept into what you want to teach them and what you're trying to showcase so please go ahead and explore and see how you can use them to your own advantage depending on what you are creating or what you are writing or what you are analyzing. I hope you enjoy this video. Please, if you do, leave a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to keep enjoying videos like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.